all right guys welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you guys about my favorite math function of all time and that is a rand it's the function that generates a random number and the reason that I love this so much is because whenever I'm making computer games this is the piece of code that makes it fun and unpredictable without a random number generator and computing every game would be like boring and bland so let me go ahead and show you guys how to use it and then I'm going to show you guys how to tweak it to tune it especially specifically to the game you're making. So I'm going to make a loop to print out a bunch of random numbers so for that I need a counter variable and later on I'm going to show you guys how to get a random number in a custom range such as if you're making a dice game you just don't want any random number in the world you want a specific set of numbers in this case 1 to 6 because those are the numbers that are on a dice not like 800 so let's just go ahead and make that for loop right now and the first thing I'm going to do is set i equal to 0 and how many numbers do we want to generate doesn't really matter I'll just put i is less than 20 for now 20 or so that would be good and of course i plus plus now the first thing I want to do is just show you guys what it looks like by default without any customization. So print f. Of course, what this function does is it generates a random integer. So just press percent %d and might as well bump that to a new line. If we don't, it's going to look like one big number. Now the function is called rand. And if you don't add anything in there by default, then what it's going to do is it's going to return a random integer from 0 to somewhere above 32,000. I think it's 32,767 by default. And the reason that this sounds like a weird number and, you know, kind of a random one is actually it's a very precise number. It has to deal with how your operating system stores bits and bytes on your computer for now. You just have to remember that it's somewhere from 0 to 32,000 and something. So let me print this out on the screen. And you see we get a bunch of random numbers somewhere in that range. Pretty cool. But like I said, we typically just don't want a bunch of random numbers. What we want most of the time is just um, a range of numbers. Like I said before, you're rolling a dice. Whenever you're rolling a dice, you want the numbers 1 to 6. So how can we take this function which gives us the range of 0 to 32,000 and something and make it only output 1 to 6. Well, I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So take this dice roll and plop it down there and the equation for this is going to be parentheses and in those parentheses type the function rand now right after this hit modulus 6 now remember what modulus does is it takes this number on the on the left and divides it by the number on the right however it doesn't give you the result it gives you the remainder of that so whenever you divide any number by 6 you're gonna get the remainder 0 and that's if 6 um, fit into the number perfectly like 36 divided by 6 gives you 0 or it's going to give you the number 1 through 5. So this entire function is either going to give you 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So of course we're pretty much off by a step of 1 because the dice is not 0 to 5 but 1 to 6. So now all we have to do is take that expression and add 1 to it. So now dice roll is equal to the numbers 1 to 6 simple enough so now we can just go ahead and print that out you could actually didn't even need to delete that earlier but percent D kick it to a new line and dice roll is what we want to print out so again run this bad boy and check it out what happens now is it prints out and actually do we have no three in here Cool. Oh, there's a couple how did I miss those right in the middle but basically what this does is it prints out somewhere in the range of 1 to 6 so if you want to have any kind of dice game then this little formula would be perfect for it 
So again, the only other confusing thing might be this right here because I think it was the first time we actually used that modulus operator in a useful function. But for now, here's what I want you guys to do. Since you have all the building blocks to build a more complex program, this is your next challenge. I want you to create a game where the user rolls three dice and it prints out their total to them. Um, dice A plus dice B plus dice C. So after it gets the sum, the user is going to look at it and it's going to guess if the next row is going to be higher. And if it is, they'll just type in H and press enter, lower, and they'll press L, or the same, and they'll press S and hit enter. And then they're going to roll the dice again, and if they got it right, if they guess correctly, we'll just like print out good job. If they got it wrong, print out you suck. And, um, well, that's it. So I think you guys um, can complete this challenge. If you can, then post it in my forum, and uh, well, I'll congratulate you. If not, then post where you're having trouble with in my forum, and I'll help you out with it, or someone else will. A bunch of people there willing to help. So that's your challenge. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing your games.